Hi, I'm Jewel Alderson with the San Diego County Office of Education, and today we are going to take a quick moment to talk a little bit about career technical education and answer the question, what is CTE? Career technical education is a program that will have a sequence of courses in a single pathway within an industry. These courses are taught by someone with industry experience. And what we do know is that CTE programs have students that uh, mark higher on their satisfaction of their education program. Students learn real world skills connected to the world of work. There are many options for college and rewarding careers aligned with career technical education. And what we see is a more valuable high school experience. It prepares students both for college and career and helps them build real world skills that they can use for their future. But what sectors are there and what is a pathway? Well, California has identified 15 different industry sectors that you can see on this Career Pathways poster here. And within each sector, there are specific pathways that have been identified as well. For instance, if you want to have an engineering pathway, you could pick engineering technology, engineering design, or environmental engineering. For each one of these individual bullets, there's a full set of rigorous standards. And in the sequence of a two, three, or four-year pathway, you would cover all of the standards for that singular bullet here on this poster. That means that you're not necessarily going to mix uh, mental and behavioral health and patient care. Um, although they may have overlapping topics, uh, what you'll see is you'll hit all of the standards in one area of that sector, and that becomes what your pathway uh, is made of. And so, like we said, CTE pathways are in designated sectors and each has its own suite of standards linked here. Uh, the two to four year pathway course sequence has to be focused on that one pathway within a sector, cover all the related standards, and it lasts a minimum of 300 hours. So you might remember career pathways back when you were in high school and they look very different today. So today we are very much informed by labor market information. We look to our centers of excellence at the community college or in San Diego, San Diego Workforce Partnership is our workforce investment board. These are key partners in ensuring that we are building pathways to careers that will still be there by the time our students enter the workplace. In many cases, this is four to six years uh, from the time that you will have them because they're going on to their post-secondary studies. And what we wanna be sure is that those fields are growing uh, and also particularly in a place like San Diego where the cost of living is so high, we want to be sure our students are eligible to make a living wage or above uh, as they go into those fields. These programs are connected to post-secondary education at two and four year institutions, as well as apprenticeships, um, or placement in industry. The goal is to help our students leave making an informed decision about the career path that they need to get to the career goals that they have. Many of these classes are A through G approved. In fact, you can get A through G approval for any of your CTE classes. What you have to do is write that approval as it aligns to the outline that the UC and CSU has put for that. So while many CTE classes are considered elective credit in A through G, uh, we also see CTE classes that meet science or art standards because they specifically meet the objectives of those courses. For instance, you might see a biotechnology course that can meet both the science and the CTE requirements. Uh, and many of our arts, media, entertainment classes are eligible for that uh, fine arts a through G credit as well that helps students who may have a hard time meeting all their graduation requirements while taking multiple CTE classes to have a lighter load as they are creating that meaningful learning experience. We also have a lot of articulation in career technical education because you might have a similar course at the community college. For instance, there might be an automotive course at the nearby community college we're teaching the same exact introductory standards or concentrator standards at our campus. And that means that you can go into an agreement with that college that students who complete your course get credit for the college level learning that they would have done if they went there instead. And finally, many schools are able to include non-CTE courses. What they do is they integrate the curriculum in existing pathway programs. And so you'll see academies or linked learning pathways where a 
uh, core academic teacher works with your CTE teacher. For instance, when I was in the classroom, I was a chemistry teacher. I taught a lot of different science classes and some math. Um, but once we built a medical pathway, I started teaching medical chemistry. Now, this was not a CTE course. My colleague taught the CTE medical, medical assisting and medical front and back office and medical terminology. But those same students would have me for their chemistry class. They met all of the regular D-level lab science chemistry standards. However, we spent our lab time exploring what those standards meant in the medical field. This is a great way to give students real world context in every class that they might have throughout their day. When we look at CTE, there is a minimum sequence that you can have. These are not standalone elective courses. These are a pathway. The minimum pathway is two sequence courses. So normally you could have an introductory course, but if you're only doing two courses, you go for a concentrator and then capstone. Uh, to be a pathway completer on the California School Dashboard's College and Career Indicator, students actually need to complete a concentrator and capstone with a C minus or better. So if you're designing your pathway, you also want to just make sure that it's meeting those requirements so that your students are eligible for completer status on the dashboard. Pathways are a huge undertaking in some ways because they are rigorous and they are real world and they go beyond the boundaries of the classroom. These are the 11 elements of a high quality pathway and many of our grant funding uh, opportunities are tied to these particular elements. So as you get more deeply involved in CTE, you'll explore a lot of these different elements uh, and how your pathway can be high quality by meeting each one of these. Just a note, the uh, state is updating this to 12 elements. It has not made it through legislation yet, but if you see 12 elements, it's going to be very similar to these with one additional. So uh, as long as you're building towards these, you are on the way to high quality pathway. Now, that high quality pathway, that may be quite a few years down the road for you. Here you can see an example pathway that we might call the platinum standard. Here they align at the middle school with a medical detectives course, at the high school with a biomedical program, and at the college where they get articulated credit. There's a rigorous sequence of courses starting in middle school and then proceeding through D-level lab sciences and finally a G-level elective course. The work-based learning opportunities are huge in CTE. Incorporating industry into your classroom and bringing your students to industry is important and essential to ensure our students are ready for the future. Here, they have a number of industry partners that they work with. And finally, this pathway is part of the CTSO program or Career and Technical Student Organizations. These programs are offering leadership opportunities for students as well as competition to let your students shine uh, out there in the real world against other schools who offer similar pathways. A few log logistical considerations for you as you are looking to embark on your pathway journey. Again, CTE courses are categorized as introduction, concentrator, or capstone, uh, but a pathway completer just needs to complete 300 hours between concentrator and capstone. So if you are dropping to a two course sequence, you wanna make sure that those are two full year courses of concentrator and capstone. If you're in a four by four or some other unique program where a student can take two courses in the same year, uh, that is possible for them to complete in one year. It is uh, quite the undertaking. However, you're usually double blocking those students to do that. Course codes are uh, going to be rolled up in Cal pads to inform the Department of Ed of what our students have done. So you do want to make sure that you are coding everything properly and you can always reach out to us to get some support in learning which course codes you should use. And finally, to be a CTE pathway, the courses must be taught by CTE teachers credentialed in the section in the sector they are teaching within. To become a CTE credentialed teacher, you need industry experience. You might come straight from industry. In fact, you can hire someone straight from industry into your school, uh, and then they credential while on the job. You may also find teachers on your campus who have a background in industry, and you can get them CTE credentialed so that they can step from their academic course into that CTE pathway, be eligible for more grants and get your students opportunities to score up higher on that college and career indicator with pathway completion. 
So that was a very quick overview of career technical education. Again, we are here for you at the County Office of Ed. Uh, we would love for you to reach out with any questions that you have, and we wish you luck as you embark on your journey of leading for career readiness. Thank you.